Uh, this concerns data structures. Uh, you, basically, data structures are an examination of the implementation in Big O sub N of linked lists, queues, and stacks. With some variations for circular uh, decks, doubly linked lists, and like, what could pass as both a stack and a queue. But uh, linked lists, decks, linked lists, stacks, and queues, basically with BO sub N, you should be able to derive uh, the data structure from the big O sub N and vice versa. Implement the uh, structure for each particular problem of each particular sort, meaning a linked list, a stack, or a queue for each particular problem, along with big O sub N and vice versa. Um, it is not always important to uh, know how to hard code them since there's things like the STL generics and collections in C++, Java, and Python, respectively. And it, it kind of cuts out the, the need for hard coding. You should have familiarity with it in case the programming interview asks for it. I think generally they, they ex most job interviewers accept generics and or parameterized types in a programming interviews. There's no reason not to. It's a perfectly feasible way of proceeding. I think some languages don't support generics. As an example, JavaScript or maybe TypeScript or HTML, CSS. I think there's things like Docker and uh, uh, some other things for those languages, though. Uh, you will find that uh, the entire structure of a data structures course is geared around uh, solving various problems in uh, computation, not necessarily scientific, but uh, just things such as uh, input, output, uh, modification of data, uh, alteration of data, uh, alteration, modification of strings, uh, searches, maybe basic searches, sorting. That's more an algorithm, of course, but uh, you will find that there is a certain amount of uh, uh, implementation of what is learned in 101 applied to data structures such as controls, logic, loops, and conditionals, as well as uh, basic data types, not structures, but types, integer, float, string, character, applied to data structures. And you should know how to implement any type of data type into a data structure. Use the basic constructs within data structures fluently and know the rules when it's allowed and when it's allowed to modify a data type. For instance, you have an array, a vector, an end tuple, a dictionary, a hash table, a character, a string. You should know when you can pass a variable through a parameter in a data structure when it's allowed. Say you want to input a uh, string and then modify the string with a data structure. You should know when that's allowed. You just input all the data into the data type. Then the data structure can filter, sort, concatenate, merge, uh, modify the uh, string or integer, or whatever it may be, term-wise or completely or holistically or thusly. It should be considered hard. It should, you should be able to have fluency for that kind of thing with any particular type of data type and or data structure. Uh, there's no particular reason why a language would support data type modification within a data structure for C, Java, or Python, but not another data structure of an alternative uh, type. Uh, it's, it's fairly straightforward enough. Um, 
there, there should be any difficulty in uh, um, uh, controlling that type of thing. You should be able to tailor input-output for uh, exceptions within the data structures course. I don't think the Python or the uh, Java model of constantly modeling string or uh, throws exceptions is particularly useful for a data structures course. I never have. I, I think that book by Savage and Maine is particularly mediocre for stressing it. It's much better to stick with C++ or Python. The better schools will probably stick to those data structures. Those languages anyway, uh, um, only a very mediocre school would ever even think of using Java for those language for as a language for data structures. But bear in mind that uh, be it what it may, uh, they might all ask for you to do a little bit of graphics or a little bit of UX UI or advanced data manipulation like sorting or searching. It's just all that is very peripheral and basically a matter of taste to the textbook. The core of your data structures course is very definitely going to be a uh, um, big host of in data types, data structures, and the basic manipulation through generics, STL, or collections within uh, Java, C++, or Python, respectively. It's very rare to see a modern data structures course that isn't taught in one of those three core languages. I mean, I just would not expect, unless you're in a, like a statistics course, you might see R maybe used occasionally. I wouldn't tend to expect it. It's more a specialist language with its own uh, particular methodologies for things like data frames. But anyways, that concludes this lecture. As a reference for a textbook, I recommend uh, for data structures, probably Herbert Schultz books in Java or C or C++ or C hash. You can use any of those languages. This is the older Herbert Schilt books for algorithms, probably Thomas Corman from MIT Press and for Computer Science 101. You could get away with Savage. Savage is kind of peculiar, but one of the older Savage books or Tom Swan for Pascal. They're not going to test you much on more advanced stuff like uh, data structures in a computer science 101 course, but it's basically whatever makes you happy. Uh, you could get away with a Herbert Schild book for that too, or Steve Holzer book, uh, maybe a Jesse Liberty book at worst. Anyways, enjoy.